All right, everybody, we have a new EZA here on Global Dokkan. We got the hot-blooded God of Destruction Beerus. Here we go. So he is weak to Power of Wishes. Uh, tech, STR, and Physical Types are the ones that you want to be using here, at least on stage 20. Uh, we're moving through it. This is the uh, team that I'm using right here. Uh, pretty basic Power of Wishes team. I mean, it, it's kind of wailed out, but I mean, uh, I mean, do you guys come to my channel for anything else? I don't know. Maybe you do. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we got the auto clicker going here. We're going to go ahead and just let it run. And then we're going to switch over here and talk about uh, Beerus a little bit. So um, I don't have any calcs for him pulled up or anything like that. Um, if, I, if I can get this to pull up over here. There we go. Now I can switch over. Awesome. So here's Beerus. Um, I did do calcs for this guy. I just don't have him pulled up at the moment. Maybe I'll pull him up at some point in this video. I, you know, you, you know, you never know what you get out of one of these videos. Um, I do have an auto clicker set up here. Um, you guys can see the points going. That's kind of where I have them set. Uh, I have a video up of it on the channel if you want to check that out. Uh, I try to link those in the video one way or another, but sometimes I forget, so forgive me if I do. Um, anyway, beer is here. Uh, his easy A. I mean, it's all right. It's a... Uh... I mean, yeah, it's pretty good. So, uh, leader skill doesn't really matter on these easy A's. Uh, maybe for like a super battle road or something like that, you could get some use out of this guy as your leader. But uh, for the most part, uh, these easy, like these TURs like this, you're not using them as leaders. Pretty much, you're only running 200% leader skills these days, so eh, not really a big deal here. Um, his super tech effect, he stacks attack infinitely, and then he greatly lowers attack and defense. Uh, sadly, uh, lowering attack and defense isn't super helpful these days. Um, it it can help out a little bit in a few stages but for the most part it's relatively I don't want to say pointless it's just not as good of an ability as it used to be you know many moons ago start a turn he gets 50% attack and 200% defense which isn't too bad he gets an additional 150% attack when performing a super um, he gets 40% damage reduction with three or more key spheres obtained and then he gets an additional damage reduction of 30% before attacking with seven or more key spheres obtained. So uh, you really want to shoot for seven key spheres because then he'll have 70% damage reduction before attacking, which is nice. And then post attack, he'll have uh, only 40%. But uh, he gets an attack raise uh, whenever he receives an attack. So he gets an additional 150% defense uh, within the same turn after receiving an attack. And then he randomly changes a certain type of key sphere. Uh, and he gets super effective against all types if you're facing a Realm of Gods category enemy, which we have several of now with the new Future Saga Red Zone. So, uh, so as whereas before this used to be kind of a pointless ability, this is actually pretty good now. Uh, you know, Rainbow Orb changing can really help round the team out and make it, you know, work together nicely. Um, probably my only complaint with this guy is that, like, he doesn't have much going on for his defense. I mean, he's got 200% here. And potentially 70% damage reduction locked behind, you know, an orb restriction. And then he's got 150% uh, when receiving an attack. Um, so it, it's like that's kind of all he has, right? So this guy's not going to be too difficult to calc. Basically, you're just going to take whatever you see at the start of turn. And then whenever he gets hit, you're going to multiply by 2.5. And then that's going to be his defense. Um, so no nothing too crazy there. Now his active skill... Uh, this can be activated when HP is 70% or less, starting from the fourth turn. Not in an impossible condition, but you guys know how I feel about HP conditions at this point. Uh, HP conditions are inconsistent, and whenever you start, um, pairing them with other restrictions, like turn restrictions like this, uh, they just become even more inconsistent, and they're just not really fun to deal with. He has a really good active skill, uh, super effective against all types, and 50% attack and defense, and, uh, I mean, attacks guaranteed to hit. That's not super useful in the current meta, but... Um, back whenever this guy came out during the Legendary Goku event, this actually kind of was a big deal because occasionally you'd be in a run where you're fighting the Goku at the end and he's just dodging all of your attacks, or maybe you need to get through the STR phase faster, whatever it was, um, this guaranteed to hit actually did help back then, that's kind of why he has it, so, uh, that's just a product of the time he released. Now, here's where I'm going to be running into issues, is his 200% leader skills. Um, we're pretty much exclusively going to have to run this one, which should work out fine, but, uh, I mean, we'll see. <laughs> we will, we will see. Uh, here are his links. They're not too bad. Uh, the issue is that his best linking partners are other, like, Realm of Gods units. 
and we don't really have any great ones. I'm going to run LR Beerus and Whis in the video just to see how they do. Um, but I I've never really been super impressed by this character. Uh, maybe they'll perform well, maybe they won't. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. You know, some people say it's like, oh, they take 300k damage, but then you just heal it all back up. And it's like, uh, I just don't want to take 300k damage. So I, I, don't, I don't know how I feel about this unit. Um, I'm going to try to get a couple showcases out tomorrow. Uh, or I guess today at this point. I'm going to be gone for the weekend, so I'm not going to be around to cover anything new that drops. So I'm going to try to get a bunch of stuff pre-recorded tonight. And then, uh, you know, get the videos out this weekend. So, uh, we'll have those going up on the channel, uh, you know, again, throughout the weekend. So, maybe if I'm going through the showcases, maybe a little bit slower than usual. Uh, it's just because I'm trying to spread those out over a couple of days. Uh, we'll, do, we'll do the typical ones, probably, just depending on how many I can get recorded tonight. Um, but I'll shoot for, like, at least two a day or something like that. We'll, we'll at least get through, like, the Future Saga Red Zone, hopefully, uh, and get those out this weekend. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Beerus, Beerus, Beerus. Uh, I would like to run this guy's team. I just don't know that I can. And then I just don't. Uh, Turles' team, man. I don't. Uh, I don't know about that. Let me see if I can get Calcs pulled up. Okay, here we go. I got these pulled up. Uh, I, I assume these are accurate. I don't know. I haven't really checked. Uh, I, I just pulled them up. So um, this is his defense stat after easy aing. You guys can see that uh, right here. Thirteen zero ninety six. 13096. We're going to multiply by 5 for the 200% leader skill. Uh, I did 12% in links. Let's see what I had active here. Uh, what is that? Connoisseur, I believe, is 7% defense. And Shocking Speed. Uh, those are his only two defense links. So uh, we have both of those active here for 12%. He has 200% at the start of turn. So he's going to be at about 220 uh, with no support. And then after he gets hit, he'll be at 550k. Which, you know, with 70% damage reduction or 40% is going to be okay. Um, and then down here, this is with 40% support. So, uh, Bulma gives, what, 37%? So, we'll have Bulma support up. So, this is probably closer to the numbers that we'll be seeing throughout the showcase. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, you guys can see that, like, his defense numbers, they're just, like, not quite there. Um, I mean, they can be okay. But, you know, this guy can be prone to taking some damage. Luckily, there's a lot of int fights right now. Um, I think because they're trying to counter Orange Piccolo. Uh, so, that, you know, that is good. Damage reduction plus type advantage is, uh, you know, definitely a really good combo that we can work with here. Uh, so, you know, we, we can make it work. Um, let me know what team you guys use to uh, beat this easy A right here. Um... I, I, I don't think it'll be too difficult. Uh, the only thing difficult about these is that they're 30 stages, right? So you got to sit here for the next 18 years of your life and grind this thing up. <laughs> uh, it, it's definitely annoying. I think if I was going to make any change to this guy, it would be like I just give him like a 30% defense raise for one turn. I mean, that wouldn't make him insane, right? Like if we just take this and multiply by 1.3. I mean, 715k defense is not that insane, right? For, and then like over here, we'd take this. Multiply by 1.3. Like, like, these are not insane numbers, right? Just to give them 30% defense on super attack effect for one turn. Uh, I think these would be, like, really acceptable numbers at that point. But, uh, maybe, maybe I'm underrating his defense a little bit. But, yeah, th this is going to be pretty common to what we see most of the time. Uh, we, I mean, it, it's going to be okay. But, um, that first, that first hit in some of these fights is going to sting. But, we'll, we'll just have to see, right? And then a lot of it, too, is going to depend on how uh, LR, Beerus, and Whis do as well. You know, if they're not performing at a high level, then uh, this guy's, you know, kind of cut off as well. Oh, my goodness. We're still, we're only on stage 25. This guy has a million health. Uh, I, I really thought that this video was going to be, like, I don't know, five minutes, and I was just going to get out of here doing the last ten stages. Like, we, we breezed through it up to this point, um, and now we're, now we're taking a long time. So, uh, I, I guess uh, we don't need to look at Beerus anymore. And we've kind of already seen him here. I've shown his linking partners. Um, so we can just switch back to here and let it play for a little bit. Uh, I, don't, I don't really have anything else to talk about with this guy. So I could just mute it and let the video play out or pause and come back whenever we actually beat it. Uh, which I think I'll do that. I'll, I'll just pause right here and I'll come back once the easy is actually finished. If I run into any trouble, I'll let you guys know. But um, yeah, I, I don't want to sit here and talk for who knows how long trying to get through these last five stages. So uh, I'll be right back. 
All right, we're back here hopping into stage 30 now. It's been a, it's been a few minutes. It's been like five minutes, which doesn't sound like that long. But I mean, listen, that's, that's like an eternity in one of these like hell easy A's. Oh, hang on. I want to turn off auto here uh, so that I can get better key. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, see now. now yep. Mm -hmm. uh, I could do this too. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Why not? Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just did that to maximize links. Oh, let me turn the sound back on. I was listening to a video, so I had, like, the sound off so that I couldn't hear it. Because uh, it's like I get my sound through the headphones, right? So if I leave it on, then I can't hear, like, the other video that I'm watching. So I, uh, I, gotta, I gotta mute it in OBS. So anyway, you guys don't care about that. All you care about is that we're finishing off the final stage here. Bulma's gonna do some decent damage. Yeah, she did, like, half of this guy's health. And then Orange Piccolo should still be doing damage here, unless they removed him from, like, the effective typing in the last 10 levels, which is possible. Yeah, I mean, he's still doing damage. That's good. He got an additional as well. Nice. We're just gonna one-turn him. It's like, here I was complaining about these uh, last five stages taking forever. Then we get to the final stage. We get to stage 30, and I just uh, one-turn the physical beers here. <laughs> because uh, the friend here is definitely gonna KO for sure. Uh, so anyway, yeah, uh, I'll get this guy, I'll get this video out today, probably his 200% showcase, and maybe, like, the Merge Zamasu video, um, and then, yeah, I guess the rest of the Future Saga Red Zone stages throughout the weekend, so be on the lookout for those, thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'm gonna catch you guys next time.